Come and join us today at Royal Pacific at Universal Studios. We're going to go through all the perks and amenities that this hotel has to offer. So you can decide if you want to stay here or somewhere else. And we'll also give you some tips for getting express early. You want to take advantage of that. Today, today we're, we're at, at the Royal, Royal Pacific. Pacific Hotel. We'll, we'll room show, definitely store. show you the room. We're going to show the islands, uh, the restaurants. Yep. Just a little bit of everything. Comment if you've been to the Royal Pacific. We had a better view last visit, so I'll put that in a little bit later, but we got there early to get our express. I recommend getting there as early as you can so you can get checked in, they'll get your room ready, and they'll give you those tickets that work as your express and your room key. So we had already gotten the express, used them at the parks, and then we headed back to the room. We do have a separate video on how much time you save with express. Highly recommend it. It is so worth getting it with these premier hotels. We'll be covering the other two premier hotels soon again. We've done them in the past, but stay tuned for those as well. Can we look for the lights? We have a garden this view. This is what? Thank you, buddy. We have a garden view. I mean, yeah. Yeah. We got spoiled with the uh, two bedroom. <laughs> no, it's not. We. They upgraded us in the last one. It, which was nice. I mean, at least we're not facing the parking lot. I mean, true. <laughs> this is the best oh, room. Yeah. At know. least there's a toilet. Oh, so they have a walk-in, or I guess a stand-in shower. Uh, so no bath, but they do have a sink, and they have a toilet, of course. And then um, they have the two beds. Now we just stayed at Sapphire Falls and got spoiled with the kids suite so that was really nice i do like the uh orchids though the orchids, i do like i like the theming better here it's like archaeology but also kind of like i guess polynesian right i like the lights too i like the decor yeah i like the decorations so this hotel has the same standard amenities as any of the other universal ones you're going to find. You have a chair and a desk, a little light, you've got some storage at the TV stand there with a bunch of drawers, you've got a closet which does have the hangers, a safe, an iron, some extra towels, a hair dryer, and the extra sheets and pillow. We were kind of bummed about the view but it really just, it just depends on what they have available. And being on the first floor we noticed the Wi-Fi was actually terrible. It's not a deal breaker, but if you want to relax after a long day at the park, just be aware. But really the best park is going to be the water taxi and the express passes. So we actually stayed here two years ago, not one, but this was our view from up top. I absolutely loved it. It is so much better than the garden view. You can request a high room, but that doesn't guarantee it. And the night view, I loved just as much. So if you can score a high room, definitely try so we did find the coffee there is coffee the and first, then yeah we thought there was none it was hiding and then just a regular standard refrigerator I think the pool is this way we're gonna go check out later if the kids want to swim I don't okay yes. yes the island dining room Jake's American bar we can see what's in the what's on the menu for that one but we did look at the reviews at Jake's American Bar, which had good reviews, but we really liked the island dining room, so that's why we decided to go back. Jake's Bar does have a good variety of appetizers, salads, flatbreads, burgers, fish and chips, barbecue chicken. It seems like anyone can find something to eat here, but at the island's dining room, they offer more of Asian cuisines. And then on the opposite side, that's where we're eating. They do offer an all-you-can-eat walk experience for $40 a person, but we're just gonna do the a la carte options and show you the menu coming up. This is what we have is purple and pink. Okay. I want purple. Purple. Yeah, cool. <laughs>
And you can also do the breakfast buffet here the next morning. It does get costly for a family of four, but it's an option. So showing their menu, we're gonna be boring and get the same starters that we got last time, which was the crab rangoon and the chicken gyoza. I just know what's good and I wanna stick with that. Rick wants to try the General Tso's chicken. And last time I got the island rice, which I'll show in a little bit, but this time I wanted to try the curry. And we did tell the waiter it was Buddy Boy's birthday. They actually did more than some of the other restaurants. That was really nice. They brought him, they got him some Lay's and then they got balloons. That was really nice of them. At least they did something because um, Sapphire Falls didn't really do anything for birthdays. Cabana Bay gives you a chocolate cake. All right, we got crab rangoon here. It's four pieces. I wish there was more though. Yeah. And then the chicken gyoza. So that's what the waiter recommended that we try. Right. Pasta goes. Yep. There should be 20 of those. The premier hotel restaurants always have really good food. Sometimes I feel like it's a little overpriced, but it is a theme park and that's gonna happen. I still love the restaurants though at these premier resorts. I guess this is actually pretty hot. Yeah. I like this one better than the, than the gyoza. I like the gyoza, but I like this one best. Well, yeah, it's always gonna be crab ragu. I like well, at least both. with us, yeah. it is. <laughs> All right, we got the General Tso's chicken with a side of rice. General Tso's chicken is spicy, but it has peppers, onions, broccoli, and like crispy chicken. And then I did get the chicken curry. So this is, I had island rice, the island rice last time that had the huge pineapple, but this, the waiter recommended this one. It looks really good. Okay, buddy boy got mac and cheese fries and pumpkin got burger again, her favorite. It's good, it's spicy. It's fresh, I like it. it's, it's good. Okay. I was to say, it's, the flavor is mixed together well. It's not too overly spicy. Right. You can I taste everything it. in it. Probably like a nice crisp to it. Yeah. Oh, the last time we ate here was really good too. I think the premier resorts have the better food options. Yeah. I mean, their mac and cheese looks the same as the other place. And no, so does the burger. I didn't. They have spiral noodles there oh. and regular like macaroni. These are spiral noodles. And it tastes it. different. It does taste better, like maybe. Okay. Yeah. Well, they have the same options, I should say. Same options, but that tastes different. Pumpkin, how is your burger? It's, it's okay. It's okay. Nothing to worry about. Rice. Okay. I do like mine. Mine has like it has heat to me. I'm sure anybody who likes spice is gonna love it though. But I, I mean, it has a good coconut flavor. I like how it has all the different veggies and stuff in it. So it's a little bit healthier than some of the other food options, but I like it. My mouth is on fire, but I like it. Hey boy, how do you like yours? Oh yeah. Amazing. Amazing? Even though I the room. I know, that was so nice. Love it. All right, so they don't have the pineapple donut anymore. I'm gonna have to put a clip in of what they used to have. It was so good. And then, but our waiter said the mochi cake is the best. So we're gonna try, at least hopefully, this makes up for it. But I'm pretty bummed. It looks oh. like a mix. Like it's a cheese. Mousse. It's like oh, a mousse it's a mousse? Or a mousse? 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 Oreo cake. Mm -hmm. Because that's what it was I on the menu too. What it says has yeah, paper. that's good. It says paper, but it's not. That's good. Yeah, that's the Yang Yang Oreo hey, cake. So this restaurant was just as good as last time. The waiter was amazing, super friendly. This was our last visit. She had gotten pizza and I had the Islands fried rice. I would get the Islands fried rice again before the curry because it was less spicy and Rick got shrimp pad thai. But this is what I really wanted. I've been craving this for two years. I guess we should have just stopped by earlier if I had known that they got rid of this. It was so good. They had baked the pineapple into the donut and it had the ice cream it was just perfect all right we're gonna go up to the room get them changed they're gonna go swim it is way too cold they want to swim you want to swim in the cold guys yeah. you want to swim in the cold yeah okay yeah. this is a blowing wind <laughs> these kids are crazy i have a hoodie on and a jacket and they want to swim so i am not going to because it is too cold they yeah. are crazy 
I believe the pool hours are from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day, so we went after a fun park day. I did swim with them at Sapphire Falls for his birthday, even though I was kind of freezing. The pool is heated to 82 degrees, but any skin that comes out of that pool, you're gonna be cold. That's not normal for Florida, though. It's usually pretty hot, so you shouldn't be too worried about it being too cold. And most of the pool is around three foot deep. I believe in the middle it gets to be around four feet, so I just had the kids kind of stay on either side. And fun fact, you can pull hop to any of the resorts if you're staying at a Universal Resort except for Endless Summer, but you can park hop at any of the pools. And I'll show a video from last time too that is actually a splash pad normally. I think it was just too cold, but the kids had fun playing with the beach ball and the pool noodles that they had there. They do offer room service. We did not order it this time. We're trying to stay on a certain budget and the restaurants at these hotels can be a little costly. And we also stayed during the off season so we get the cheapest rates for these hotels may september february those are going to be like the cheapest months to stay here now this resort is beautiful i still think one of our favorites is portofino bay but i love the tropical look of this when you walk into the lobby they have a really pretty water fountain this is where you'll check in in the morning get those express passes your room key and you can also go into the little market i'll show a tour of that has a coffee shop and some grab and go stuff. Alright, so the Tuk Tuk Market's open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Got some seating back here too. Oh, and a freestyle machine. And coffee, let's go over here. They have grab and go stuff. There's granola, and sandwiches, and salads. And they got goodies here too, and drinks. They have Fruit Loop cereal. The third food option is this sushi bar, which actually the sushi was pretty good. Now another perk staying here is the water taxi, and we're on the way there. We're gonna show a few more amenities. Okay. All right, let's go check out the game room, the gym, and then go in the water taxi. Nobody's here. Oh, look, Minecraft. Minecraft. You went to the gym. That, the that's Sapphire Falls and Cabana Bay are bigger. I would have worn a shirt. And headed down this way, they do have the gym with lots of different equipment if you want to work out during your vacation or staycation. And then they have a small shop, so if you do forget something like sunscreen, you need a swimsuit, they even have Hawaiian shirts, so they have different apparel in case you need it. I love the view of Dr. Dan. We were headed over there actually for Vanessa to ride the Hulk for the first time, so I'm gonna be putting in a quick clip before we head back. You do have to go through security before you get on the water taxi, and then it's about every 15 minutes or so that each one comes. I think at night they might run more water taxis because they need more for the park closing and all those people leaving but normally it's about every 10 to 15 minutes There are four resorts that offer the water taxi, but any resort you stay at, there is a walking path, so you can walk there too. I'd say from Royal Pacific, it's about a 10 minute walk and it's really pretty. We spent a few hours at Islands of Adventure. The only thing I actually filmed was Vanessa going on the Hulk for the first time. This is the tallest height requirement, so now she can go on every single ride here.
was the best part. <laughs> I'm filming them, they're actually in the front now. My husband and Vanessa, she loved it. I would say Velocicoaster is the best ride though. And don't forget, we have a huge playlist of Universal. We're always going there. It's one of our favorite parks. So I'll link that down below. I do hope to do another City Walk video soon. It's kind of limited on things to do, but as you can see, as the park closes, the lines get longer for that water taxi. So just be aware of that. City Walk has mainly just restaurants and bars, a couple of shops as well as some escape rooms which we've never done yet I hope to do it soon and mini golf and the last thing we forgot to show at the hotel is this tiny gift shop I don't think they had any actual Royal Pacific merchandise which they should most of the hotels don't have anything specific we did ask them they said they didn't believe they had anything but if you forget any sort of medicine feminine products they got it I hope this video was helpful let us know what else you'd like to see Stay tuned for kids. Subscribe for more videos. Go on our channel and subscribe. And subscribe. Cut. And also, if you love these, click either of these videos next to see more resorts at Universal Studios. And stay tuned as we are going to refilm some of our older videos that we've done. And of course, we'll be doing more park updates, especially for DreamWorks Land. Thank you for watching.